this channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, so a week ago I learned one of my first Guthrie Govan licks that I've actually ever learned properly from one of his improvised solos um, from the tune Waves. I wanted to break down one that happened slightly earlier in the tune. It's a little bit more accessible than the last one, so hopefully some of you might find this interesting or useful. Feel free to leave a comment if you do find some use in it. If you're looking for someone to telegram with, I'm not on telegram, that's just a random chat bot. You might want to ignore that. Um, but yeah, anyway, leave a comment below and let me know that this is the sort of video that you want me to keep making and whether you found it helpful uh, or not. I mean, if you didn't, probably best not to comment, is it? I'll jump in right now. So this part of the tune, we're kind of grooving in A minor. So going from this A minor to G, from the F back to G, F back to G. So like chord six, chord five, chord six, chord five, four, five, four, five. That's what's happening underneath this. That's the context for this. So when I look at this lick, um, again, I think there is a tab for this. I don't think this is necessarily how Guthrie would have played it, but it goes up here like that. Now, what I find works really well for me to play this and is a really good way to visualize it anyway, is over this. This kind of position here of C major, which should look fairly familiar for most of us, I'd imagine. So it kind of happens around here. And we're sprinkling in sort of some pentatonic thinking to this as well, and some chromatic thinking. So we're going to start here with basically like a little jazzy kind of lick. So we're going from the 10th fret to the 9th fret to the 8th fret to the 11th fret in the B string, back up to our major 7 on the 12th fret. So I'm viewing this as being kind of in C major because of the relative thing. So it's not a, a harmonic minor, it's not a melodic minor, so I just think of it as C major. So that's our first part. And you could probably alternate pick this or legato it Personally, I think I'd legato it. And that's our next note. So we kind of go. So from the, we're doing like a major seven, C major seven arpeggio. From the eighth fret down to the ninth fret. And then pulling off to the seventh fret again. just has a really nice kind of texture and contour. And then we fall down from the eighth fret, down our pentatonic, ninth fret, seventh fret, and then we fall onto the major seven again, instead of what would be there. So our normal pentatonic run would go, Instead we're going, which has like a bit more of a darker sound. So that's our lick so far. And then I think he does this, sliding from pentatonic position to the 
next one, which is something that he actually talks about. If I did a video talking about this specifically, like Guthrie views pentatonic box shapes the same way that most of us do, but he's practiced kind of joining them up via slides. So you go... Slide to your adjacent box, and this crops up and is playing loads. And that's how I think he is playing this next part. So we go from this ninth fret to the seventh fret with a slide, and then descend down our pentatonic scale. So, which is the same as this. We're just gonna slide into the shape. So you get. Which has a really pretty sound, I think. And then, once we get down, we're gonna jump back up to our root note on the fifth fret on the G. And hit that seven again. So we're going five, seven, four. So we're hitting our major seven. And then back down the pentatonic scale. So seven, five, seven. So you get all together. like that and if you want to a little bonus lick there it's kind of like uh, enclosing like an F major so we get an F major 7 arpeggio so the 7th fret 8th fret 7th fret, 10th fret, crush this, it's called an akiakatura. so you get from the 8th fret to the 9th fret, kind of slide up, and then 10th fret down to the 7th. It's got a really cool sound actually. just love the shape of that lick it's got such a playful but awesome and I still need to get it under my fingers properly I just learned it this morning and what I would consider doing if I were you and you like the sound of that lick is move it into some other key so notice if I'm viewing in A minor, I'm looking at it as C major, and our root is here, so our kind of lick happens like that. If we were to view it in A major, something like that, uh, or B flat major. E major. Uh, so yeah, just work on moving it around. G major. Uh, so that it's a lick that I see as an opportunity in keys other than just A minor. So I could see it in C minor. All good fun. The next thing you might want to do is consider um, just playing different notes but with that same concept, I guess. Yeah, 
you know, like I'm there moving it up to the next kind of available pentatonic box. So give that a try. Again, leave a comment if that was at all interesting. I, I think that's a really cool little lick. It's such a cool little ending. Uh, I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.